Hi, I'm Chef Neil. Welcome to this keto cal cooking demonstration. I've got uh, Derva with me, and Derva's going to show me how to make ketos. Derva, tell me a little bit about yourself. So I'm uh, Matthew's Friends Regional Coordinator in Northern Ireland. Um, my son Harry has been on the diet for a year. Um, he's doing really well. He went seizure free um, about six weeks after starting okay. the diet and has remained so. So you've been out and invented some great recipes and things like this. So are you going to show me how this one goes together? Yes, I am. Uh, this is Keto's, which um, I created because Harry wanted something that was like a breakfast cereal. Okay. And um, so I'll show you how it goes together. Yeah, it, look, it looks really simple as well. Yeah. Okay. So um, the main thing we have in it is flaxseed. Okay. So, um, you want to put your flaxseed in there? Yeah, I will. <laughs> and then... Um, and what we add to it is boiling water, as hot as we can get, because it makes the flaxseed go kind of gooey, as you know. Yeah, because um, the thing, if you add cold water in there, the flaxseed doesn't break down and things, yeah, it goes soft exactly. as it goes, okay. So I normally give that a bit of a stir, and then um, I'll add in uh, my butter and um, the the coconut, coconut oil, yeah. yeah. Coconut oil is really good, isn't it? Yeah. Do you use it a lot in your recipes and things? Um, I don't use it as much now. Early on I used it a lot. Um, Harry's not keen on the flavour of coconut, and okay. I, I did find one that doesn't have such a strong flavour, but um, okay. it's great It's great for getting extra ketones. So. Yeah, it's so, a good way of getting extra fat yeah, and yeah. things into there as well. Yeah, so I'll give you those, Okay, right. thank you. No problem And then because the water is really hot, then that all melts together. Okay, so it goes into like a paste yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then uh, next I just add in my... My additional dry ingredients, which is a little bit of cocoa. Yeah, you've got to that. be really careful with the cocoa because it's quite a bit of uh, cocoa powder and things yeah. as well. Yeah, I know a lot of people that don't put any like sweetener into there as well, and they take a mouthful of it and they think, "Wow, oh, chocolate's really bitter." So, do you add sweetener into yours as well? I find for us, um, because because our kids on the keto diet aren't used to having a lot of sweet things, okay. that in fact um, the bitter chocolate taste seems that well, they seem to you know they palate it better than maybe okay. we would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then the last things are um, some keto gal powder. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get all of that out. Okay. So when you use keto gal powder, it's a prescription product and it comes in a three to one, a four to one, and it comes in a liquid format as well. So we're gonna use the powdered version of it today. Yeah. So it's really simple. Basically, we're just mixing everything together. There's yeah. no, um, nothing too complicated. I love these recipes when everything just sort of, <laughs> sort of goes together on there as yeah. well. So that was just some egg, just to combine it all. Okay. It's great because it binds the fat so well. So yeah. I'll just give that a good mix. It's really good. Yeah. And then you just make it into a ball or something? So little tiny, um, I just make little tiny balls on um, some greaseproof paper. Okay, greaseproof paper is absolutely fantastic to cook on and things as well. Yeah. yeah I know those people that use the bacon trays and stuff yeah. like that and get stuck on there. If you put greaseproof paper on, nothing ever sticks to it and it's yeah. easy to come off there as yeah, well. Yeah, and you're sure you get everything. Really. Yeah, that's there's nothing the left behind. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem when they use like the paper and things like that. Have you seen when they use like the, the when they're making cakes and they use like the the um, cake things they put the cake in the cake holders into there and anything like paper all the grease just rolls into yeah. the side of it and things like this yeah that's really important so you so just, put we just make um little small uh, balls of it okay okay i like the way this is going to go so this is going to be like a nice little cereal type thing as well that's right yeah and i bet when you you put the keto cal liquid on does it turn the milk all chocolatey in there it as does well? yeah. it has that effect yeah ah. Okay. Have you ever tried making other flavours of these instead of putting the... Uh... I, I haven't done any other flavours, but okay. um, I suppose you could. You could add, um, you could add a some li like little bit of dried fruit. Yeah, or, you could put a bit of Da Vinci syrup into there, yeah, maybe a few different good, colours yeah. there. Sometimes I do that in, in the keto cal at the end. So when okay. we add the, the liquid keto cal at the end, we, um, we can put a flavour in and, okay. and change it up a bit, yeah. Okay. So what's your favourite recipe you like to cook? What's your... Your dead on keto recipe that you like out of all the things you uh, make? Well, the, I'd say the easiest and um, it, it's the pancakes. It's the yeah. most versatile too, yeah. I think. And I, I think that's the thing is that people get really stuck and they just don't see, they just see those few little recipes yeah. that they have and things, yeah. you know. And once you start to look and you see all these other things, and that's the good thing about Matthew's friends is we know now that Mo, myself, and uh, the, the representatives, we're well, that thing, we're just trying to show everyone that you can have so much more food together and things and it always looks nice on the plate yes. and it's not like all oily and greasy and things that's as right, well yeah. yeah and it's so versatile yeah yeah and that's the big thing so Derva how long does this take to cook 
about seven to ten minutes, depending okay. on your oven. Um, so is it like a fan assisted oven as well? Is it less than a fan assisted oven? I imagine it would be less. Okay. I would say probably more like five minutes in the okay. fan assisted oven. Okay, yeah. that looks good. So I'll tell you what, we'll go and put them in the oven. Yeah. So Deva, can you tell me a little bit about your role in Matthew's Friends in Northern Ireland? What you hope to and achieve by being the coordinator for Matthew's Friends in Northern Ireland? Yeah, so um, obviously uh, Matthew's Friends provide a lot of support online with videos like this um, on their YouTube channel. But having somebody uh, there in person, so if a family needs some support, uh, there's somebody local Somebody say, look, I'm doing it. My child is on the diet. Um, I've got some questions. I've been doing it for a while. Um, we can organise meetups. Um, because I think one of the things when you start out is that it can be quite lonely. Um, okay, yeah. But particularly, there's so few children in Northern mm -hmm. Ireland on the diet. Um, finding somebody else that has some experience that is going through what you're going through is really important. Um, I think for the kids too. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope to... Um, help um, families connect, first of all, and um, also um, support the hospital and the keto center um, in, in helping um, people start the diet and um, just give them some ideas of how, um, how things could be easier I think that, starting the diet. Yeah. I think that would be a really good thing because when I, I've gone to Northern Ireland and things like that, just all those things that you see, I see that missing, just the binding of the families together yeah. and like a problem shared, it, it really helps people and yeah. things as well. I think it'll be a really good job. And the thing I love about Matthew Spence is just so many great recipes and so much great material yeah. and things that, that's free for everyone to use. Yeah, exactly. And the starter packs, they're Brilliant. just such yeah. a great thing, aren't they? The scales and all those, and that spaghetti, uh, the, the spaghetti maker with those things. Those things are just what people need, yeah, you know? Yeah, and I, I think you'll do a great job there. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, but they look absolutely fantastic. And uh, so what do we serve them with? So normally I um, serve them as, well, I let them cool and right. I serve them with uh, the Kirikal uh, liquid. Okay. Um, I usually use the vanilla one okay. because it's um, slightly a sweeter, sweeter and things yeah. as well. Okay. But um, if I wasn't, you could use a little sweetener, or you could add a little okay. sweetener into the recipe. Okay. Um, also, you'd mentioned the Da Vinci syrups. It's yeah. quite good to use those if if you want to flavour your milk or change. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you are, Deva. Let's see how you serve these. Okay. For Harry, I would just uh, place them into a cereal bowl. Are they good to be frozen in things as well? You can freeze them, yeah, that works okay. Um, or you can just make some for the week and keep them in little Ziploc bags um, to serve, you know, in the, in the portions. Okay. Yeah. I could see this being like a nice little snack thing as well, or something yeah, like that yeah. as well. So, yeah, let's see those up. Fantastic. And then you would just put your Kita Cal liquid over the yeah, top? Yeah, I would, yeah. And I take it when you pour it in there, it goes all chocolatey as well. And things it does, like that. yeah, yeah. Hey, Derva, that is a really quick and easy recipe. Thank you so much for bringing your ketos into here as well. Thanks, and I look forward to cooking with you again. Me too. Thanks, Neil. Thank you. <laughs>